Hello, my name is Tony Wilson. I'm a chaplain with Marketplace Chaplains USA. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Freiman with Marketplace Chaplains USA. As a result of COVID-19, we all find ourselves in a time of unprecedented stress uh, faced with this global pandemic. Consider the things that you may be feeling at this moment, uh, some of the psychological and emotional signs that you're stressed out include experiencing racing thoughts or constant worry, problems with your memory or your concentration may be evident, and sometimes even making bad decisions. My suggestion, be afraid, but don't give way to fear. Fear is one of the good gifts we have as humans, and I think there are three uh, healthy kinds of fear. First of all, of course, the fear of God, this, the holy reverence for the Almighty. But secondly, the rapid response fear. This is an instinctual ability to react in the moment of danger. Not only that, but a third kind of healthy fear is appropriate concern. This allows us to be sobered by what we're facing and with our God-given ability to analyze we make wise and planned choices to protect ourselves and those we love. Instead of dwelling on the stress you're feeling that is producing a fear of what could happen, focus on what you know to be true and allow that knowledge to help you deal with the situation wisely and systematically. Uh, I'm gonna offer some questions for thought. What makes you most afraid of the pandemic? What is the wise approach to responding to your fears? And what specific steps can or should you take in dealing with your anxiety? Who do you know who is afraid at this moment? How can you help them? Hi, I'm Chaplain Elizabeth, and I want to take a brief moment to share with you some pra practical ways that can help you navigate these stressful times. Well, Chaplain Tony just described to you some different kinds of fear that can actually be helpful to us, but sometimes fear can get out of hand. I want to encourage you today. There's things that you can do. Get outside and take a walk or ride a bike. Being in nature is a proven way to reduce stress and anxiety. And exercise releases endorphins that can actually make you feel better. Stay connected and don't isolate. Reach out to your church, your friends, and your neighbors, or just call someone that would love to talk with you. If you can and if you're able, serve others. Simple acts of kindness and service can give you a whole new perspective on things. Stay informed, but try to avoid binge watching too much news and looking at the stock market. Remember to take care of yourself by eating a healthy diet, drinking lots of water, and getting at least seven hours of sleep a night. As we close out our time with you, we would like to share a prayer with you. Almighty God, we come to you in times of trouble because you are all powerful and able to meet our needs. Uh, there are many who are struggling during this time. We acknowledge that. There are those who are fearful, those who feel stress in adverse ways. We come to you on their behalf and pray that you would bless them with your presence and your peace. We pray, Father, for those who are ill, and for those who care for them. We thank you for those who are out and uh, exposed to the, the, the dangers that this pandemic has presented to us. And we pray that you would protect them as they go about their work of caring for us and protecting us. We pray your blessings upon our nation and its leaders as decisions are being made uh, concerning our care and our protection. We thank you for them, and we pray your richest blessings of wisdom upon them. We pray in your Son's name. Amen.